Crawford. And I'm Chaz Clark. And we are both students that like to paint on the side and hope that's our future job. Chaz and I, we went to the same high school. We've always like kind of came together with our ideas and like made art on the side. And I think that's kind of what has like got us here and kept us going as far as we've gone. Yeah, I think just like Chaz and I, like being together as artists like really helps because like we put together our ideas and this like decided to bring more art to Milledgeville. Everyone can appreciate art whether it's good art or bad art to you. Someone out there likes it and it's up there for a reason so and it has meaning and an idea someone's like thought is behind it and I think it's really crucial for everyone to at least be able to step back and listen or like look at the piece and appreciate it for what it is or like what time is put in it's like just as important as any other like any other profession it's just the amount of time you put in and the amount you really care and you are passionate about it and I think art is one of the few things that people are truly passionate about you might not make a bunch of money but you're gonna be happy with your product because you started with a blank piece of paper and then you come out with this like masterpiece something that inspires me is I guess the easiest way to answer that is my family and where I come from Inspiration as far as just painting, they'll come from everywhere. I mean, that's family, that's friends, it's music, it's the TV, it's it's history, and all of that, you know, I feel like I'm just trying to learn as much as I can, take in as much as I can, um, and that ends up coming out, whether it's in your sketches or your final pieces. But all of that really is just about something inside of you that you have to get out in one way or another. My medium happens to be a pen or a paintbrush. I think everyone's uh, born with an innate ability to create. I think it's just a... Uh when you're in kindergarten, everyone likes to color, everyone likes to draw, everyone likes to mold, everyone has this ability in them to create. And I think for me as a kid, I, I always created. And I think my parents always pushed that. They'd be like, all right, Adam can do his artwork or whatever. And like, w was I good at painting back then? No, like was, but like, I think the thing is, is that you keep going with it and eventually it goes somewhere. And I think it depends on what you're, painting or what you're doing or what day it is or there's a bunch of things because like not every painting's the same but, but it's very uh, stress relieving it, like it yeah it just takes your mind off something for 60 minutes or however long you're doing it and it's like the one time you can put down your cell phone and just truly forget about it because you're into the art and I think just a lot of people don't do that whether it's a conceptual piece or a stress relieving piece like you said everything depends on your place and setting. It just takes a while to get comfortable in your shoes and be have like that amount of time under your belt to just go up to a wall or go up. Because like I know people that will just walk up to like a hundred foot wall and know what to paint on it. And everything like is exactly anatomically correct but it's a hundred foot wall. It's like Michelangelo and the Sistine Chapel. It just doesn't make sense. You're painting on your back with candlelight and you're mixing your own pigments. So it's like, I mean, just an astonishing feat. It's just like, just takes time and practice. So, is that what you think about when you paint? Mm-hmm. All that stuff. In that order. <laughs>